Hey, what's up YouTube? I have one of my favorite lines of drones in my hand right now, the Bugs 3. And this is not only the Bugs 3, it's the Bugs 3 Pro from MJX RC. This guy has GPS built in, it has a camera that goes with it, and we're gonna check it out, so stay tuned. Okay, so if you've watched any of my reviews about the Bugs series, you know I'm a big fan. They're really great for the price point, and I feel like they're a good second step after you've mastered your toy drone, but before you buy, you know, a seven or $800 DJI or a Parrot drone. They are uh, also very well built. I've crashed these guys again and again and had a lot of good luck. So MJX RC sent me this guy. It is the Bugs 3 Pro, and the biggest difference is this one has GPS built in. Now, just like other Bugs 3 drones and uh, the Bugs 2 and the other Bugs line, if you're flying with one of these things, you've got to start out the right way. And by that, I mean you have to actually turn it on, uh, bind it with the remote control, and it's very simple to bind. All you do is hold down the unlock button as you turn on the remote, and then turn on the drone. They'll sit there for a second and beep at each other, and then they'll be bound to one another. So if you turn it on and you're not getting any sort of signal from it when you open the box, which actually it should be pre-bound, but if it's not for some reason, just hold down the unlock button as you turn on the remote and then turn on the drone and you'll get a bind uh, between the two. The second thing for consideration is the compass calibration. So that's another thing, if you're not getting uh, the props to spin, do the compass calibration. The instructions are in the manual. Basically what you do is when you turn it on, you'll see these lights blinking yellow on the bottom. And as they blink yellow, uh, you'll pick it up and you'll rotate it three times um, horizontally. Then you'll rotate it three times vertically. You'll see these lights turn solid. And once they're solid, you're good to go. So that's it for the preparation. What I wanna do right now is just kinda of take it up in the air. This is actually my very first time flying it, so I'm gonna take it up right now and just see how the GPS does. It says right now I have 17 satellites, and so that's a good sign that I'm gonna have a nice lock on the GPS. It's a little bit breezy, I'd say probably eight mile an hour winds right now coming from behind me towards the camera. So let's, hold, let's take it up and just see how it does, then we'll try the camera out and see how that does. So all you gotta do to unlock the props is hit the little lock button throttle up and we get it into the frame here now I've let go of the stick and as I said there's probably an eight mile an hour wind blowing that way towards the camera and it's holding pretty well it seems to be holding altitude okay it's going up a little bit all right so now we're going to just take it around the field a little bit. Now again, it's sitting pretty solid in place when I let go of the stick. It seems to be more solid now than when it took off, so uh, still telling me 17 satellites seems to have maxed out at that. So now I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna try the return to home button. Now I initially turned it on behind the camera. Um, so I'm curious to see if it, if it sees it home point as over there where I turned it on or over here where I took off from. So I'm hitting return to home. Up it goes. And it does that because it wants to make sure it avoids any obstacles between it and home. It's coming over. It looks like it's going to land where I took off from, not where I turned it on. So down it comes. Again, no hands on the stick. This is all automated. It's coming down really slow. Oh no, it just sped up. All right, it's kind of pausing. Now it's coming down slow. Nice, smooth landing, wow. And I would say it landed within, I don't know, 18 inches of where it took off? What do you think? Yeah. Seems, about, seems about right? That's awesome. So we just did our maiden voyage uh, without a camera just to see how it did. Did great, a little bit of breeze out here, but it handled it just fine. So now I'm gonna put this camera on 
This is a camera that uh, is officially designed to go with this drone. It's a 1080p camera. It also gives off a Wi-Fi signal, so if you wanted to run an app, you'd be able to see it. Honestly, I don't think it's worth it because usually those apps are a little bit uh, laggy and not great quality. And since it's got a wide field of view, you can pretty much just point it at what you want to shoot and assume it's getting it. You, you don't have a gimbal, so you're going to have unstabilized footage. So ultimately, all of that said, uh, I'm not going to run the app on it. But I will show you, it's pretty easy. You pop it into this little uh, accessory here that came with it. And then this little accessory pops onto the drone uh, like so. And what's cool is this accessory, unlike ones in the past, has some little rubber, um, little rubber uh, standoffs that actually give it a little bit of vibration protection. So even though you're not going to have buttery smooth gimbal footage, uh, you are going to have better footage than is if there were no ru uh, rubber standoffs. So the other thing I want to do real quick is go ahead and show you how to do the compass calibration. So I'm going to set it down. I'm going to turn on my radio. Now, currently I don't have any signal because uh, the battery is not in the drone. I'm going to plug the battery in the drone. That sound was the uh, radio talking to the um, drone. I just got a uh, RX on the on the uh, transmitter showed me that I have um, a full signal. See these lights are blinking yellow. So what you do is you take it and you just spin it around three times horizontally, and you'll see they start blinking green. And now you spin it around three times vertically. and they turn solid red in the front and solid green in the back. And once you're there, that's, that means it's all good to go as far as flight goes, that its uh, compass is calibrated. It wants you to do it every single time, which I would say is probably one of the downsides to this drone, but it takes 15 seconds, so it's not a huge deal. So now, as far as the camera goes, the camera is actually powered from a USB port on the drone. So one side's going to go into the drone. Uh, it looks like this goes right here, like that. And then one side's going to go into the camera. It looks like this goes. Now, you may be able to see there's a little red light that's uh, lit up on the camera. So that tells you you're getting power. So there's a photo button on the remote control. And the way you take a picture is you short press it, and it will beep, and it takes a photo. And then you long press it to take video. And then to exit shooting video, you long press again. So now again, I'm not using the app, so I have to rely on the beeps that I hear from this and using the actual remote. But again, for, for this drone, I feel like that's part of the beauty of it is you don't have to mess with your phone in an app. It does have a connector, so you can put your phone up here on the top and use the app. And I might do that in another video. But again, part of the reason I like this drone is it's one I can fly without having to use my phone and mess with all that stuff. So let's take it up and take a few pictures and see how it looks and some video. So before we take off, I'll go ahead and uh, hold down the photo button or the video button. And I get a little light blinking on the remote control that actually shows that the video is rolling. So that's good to know. So I've got video rolling right now. We're going to take off from the ground. I'm going to spin it around so I can see myself. Uh, and there's also a little blue light blinking on the drone that, that probably is indi indicative of video rolling. Go over there and chop Vinny's hair. Can you see that little blue light? Blinking? Cool. Let's see if I can do a manual orbit around Vinny. Look at me go. That's that's not a computer, folks. That's that's Mr. Drone Pilot. I'm going to go around both of us. Not hit myself. I'm not even going to look. <laughs> All right. All right. So one other thing is I believe right now I'm flying in uh oh, while I while I've got it here, I'm going to take it up here and shoot a picture. 
So I'm going to hold down to stop the video rolling. Okay, video stopped. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And let me just shoot a photo and see how that looks of the two of us. I'm sure it's going to look fantastic because Vinny's in it. All right, one more. Hey, Instagram. Okay, so now I've got video rolling again. Go ahead and bring it over here and land it. I'm gonna see if I can hand catch it, just for fun. It can be done, safely. All right, video still rolling there. I'm gonna go ahead and stop that. Okay, so after a uh, extensive consultation of the uh, user manual, I have come to realize that this drone does not have multiple flight rates, I don't think. If someone knows that it does and knows how to activate them, please let me know. But um, as of right now, I could not find multiple flight rates, uh, number one. And number two, it doesn't flip which uh, the Bugs 3 uh, does awesome flips. This one doesn't flip. And quite honestly, I'm fine with that. Uh, flipping is sort of a parlor trick and lots of toy drones do it. Maybe they're trying to take it out of the realm of a toy drone by not having it flip so that people will take it a bit more seriously. I don't know, but I don't see any way to make this thing flip. As a matter of fact, there's two buttons, L1 and L2 on the back that aren't really buttons. They're just, uh, they're where buttons would go. And then there's a little wheel here that doesn't even turn. I mean, it looks like a wheel, but it, it's, uh, it's just almost cosmetic. So I'm wondering if they just use the same shell for other remote controls that have a wheel or have these buttons, but didn't do anything with them. Which honestly, I'm fine with that. That's okay to keep the cost down. Uh, so there you go. So I'm gonna take off one more time. I showed you the return to home, which locks in on where it took off and uses satellites to bring it back. Now I wanna show you what headless mode does. Now, for those of you that don't know, headless mode means that no matter which way the aircraft is oriented, uh, left on your stick is still left, right on your stick is still right. In cases where you're not using headless mode, if the aircraft is coming towards you and you're not using it, left becomes right and right becomes left. It gets confusing if you're not used to flying. So it's a good, good way for beginners to start flying and, and learn how to um, master some basics. So I'm gonna go ahead and try headless mode, take off, fly around a little bit in normal mode and then switch over to headless. So let's take off again. We've got a guy with his dog over there who said he didn't mind me filming him. So I'm gonna film him a little bit with the, with the drone. So now I've, I'm in normal mode, which means that if I push the right stick forward, it goes forward. If I push the right stick right, it goes right. Now I'm gonna switch over to headless mode. Now that means that if I push the right stick right from my perspective, it goes, it goes right. No matter which way the camera is oriented, it continues to go right. So you can see here, I'm gonna bring it back over here. And as I'm coming here, I can spin the whole time and still go in one direction. Here's a good demonstration of headless mode. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the right, and as I go, I'm going to spin the drone, and it will continue to go the same direction. Which is something you couldn't do without headless mode. So it, it works great. The headless mode is... Uh, fantastic it's uh, no matter which way I pull the stick and that's it's a little bit of a crutch so if you're just starting out um, it's it's something you could use but if it's something that you uh, if you want to become a better pilot I recommend to get it honestly so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can get a shot of this guy's dog chasing the chasing the ball that's actually pretty cool <laughs> if I got a good shot. And again, GPS is pretty good on this guy. You let go of the sticks and it just stops. And battery life seems to be pretty good. I'm still at, uh, I'm still at three quarters battery and we've been flying for a little while now. Let's see if I can get a couple more shots of the dog chasing the ball.
Now I'm going pretty far away. And I've, I'd say I'm maybe 200 meters away at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the return to home. And see how it does coming back home on its own. And here it comes. So there you go, there's the Bugs 3 Pro. Uh, I've been flying it now uh, for, I'd say 15 minutes off and on, and I've still got three quarters of a battery. Now that doesn't tell me it's gonna fly for 45 minutes, but it does say it has a pretty good battery life, and I could do a battery test in a separate video. Um, I like it, I really, really like it. The GPS is solid. I haven't seen the footage yet, but I'm gonna guess it's okay. It's probably better than uh, some that have the camera built in because it is a dedicated camera. Uh, it has brushless motors. It has the build quality of a Bugs, which I really like. Bugs makes really great drones. And I'd say it's a really great drone if you want to spend uh, less than you would for a more higher end DJI drone, but still want the experience of a GPS and something you can learn to fly on or as a second flyer just for fun. Again, it doesn't have a gimbal, so that's gonna be one downside. The footage is not gonna be as smooth as a drone with a gimbal, but hey, for something that you can learn on or something that you can give to a kid to learn on, uh, or again, a second drone, it's a great deal. Bugs 3 Pro, I'll put a link in the description. If you like this video, I hope you'll give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna learn more about drones, I hope you'll subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.